Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and just 2.0 where we post weekly vlogs you can hit the subscribe and enjoy the content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can find us on itunes podbean spotify this channel or the second youtube channel for the visual We've got uh, a Patreon account and you guys can hit there, become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, being kind. Everything you guys are doing, we appreciate you guys very much. Um, so today I'm going to be, by the way, I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Today I'm going to be reacting to Agnostic Silenced by Quran, Emotional Dawaman. Dawaman. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We stand firm, calling to Allah all the time. We let him know, bang, bang, cause it's our time. So yeah, one of my FM 5.6 you're listening to, God created man or man created God, gentlemen. So let's go over to you, Julian. Right, let's Soggy. Um, in the red corner, I'm representing uh, man created God. Um, I'm coming off the back of a loss at the weekend, so I'm trying to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, my uh, sorry MMA career continues to uh, go downhill. But I'll, t I'll, I'll try back to the debating. Maybe I'll have more luck in this one. Maybe I'll get the tap. Um, but to clear a few things up, um, firstly, I'm I'm no. Richard Dawkins or Christopher Hitchens. I'm a friend to Muslims, a, a friend of Islam. I am a defender of Muslims in this country and worldwide. I'm not here to try and disprove anyone or convince anyone of anything. I'm just a secular, open-minded, agnostic person who believes that no one knows uh, the truth about how we were created and that's my opinion. I will express it and if anyone can convince me Otherwise, then I'm happy to be convinced, and it's great to have Dawa Man uh, in the building to attempt that. Inshallah. What do you reckon? So, hold up. Flow a little bit. Let it flow. <laughs> Let it flow. <laughs> I, I thought he was a real. Well, this is, this is no. the, uh, this, 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 the first surprise. When you this, said he had a beard, I didn't. <laughs> this is. This what is. You think this, you're this, <laughs> this is why I didn't want to get onto that. That's what I said to you. You'll be surprised. <laughs> For those that are listening, right? I have a brother that looks like a Aki <laughs> right next to me. Mashallah, okay. <laughs> so that was to throw you off guard. Okay, you know. okay, okay, okay. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Why are you not Muslim, man? <laughs> you tell, well, we're, gonna, we're about to find out. Okay, That's what the next okay, hour okay. will be about. Okay, in that case, mm. Alhamdulillah, was salatu was salam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amma ba'd. All praise and thanks is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most high and may peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad to proceed. But with regards to the question about whether God exists, right? Um, I mean, from my perspective, what I would humbly put forth is that to believe in God is the default position. On cause, cause. So logically speaking, we can rationally just deduce that they had to have been... Of course, a prime mover, as they say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So if we can agree upon that, but do you, do you agree that there has to have been some sort of a cause at the beginning? It's round one to Dawa Man, and if you <laughs> want to help me out, it's uh, <laughs> zero one one eight nine six six zero three eight two. Um, yeah, like I said, that that that's a very um, sound theory, and I, I and I don't have a better one. So uh, as a scientist, I would say I'll go with that. Until, until, until I'm, someone, I'm, sitting, I'm, sitting I'm here scientific. Here trying, to, trying to look yeah. clever and all that. <laughs> trying to make out, understand. You're doing what's a great going job. Thank Sorry. you. I respect but your free integrity, thank you, man. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. You too. Now, I'm not going to come out here and say to you that I've given you evidences and you're rejecting. 
and you're going to end up in hellfire. Because the reality is that I believe, I actually think you're a good guy, right? I don't see evil in your character. I don't see evil in your conduct. Obviously, Allah knows what's in the heart. So the only if 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 I don't can if I don't and my job is not to convince, but if I don't convey the message to you properly, the only thing that I'm gonna go home and do is think to myself, I did not do a good job in conveying the message. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I can't tell you who's gonna go to hell and who's not. That's God's job. Do you see what I'm saying? But what I can tell you is be fearful of your own situation, right? Because only you know how real you're being, and if what I've said to you makes sense. Julian, then you can be in trouble if you reject it. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Does it make sense to you? So let me let's go one more. Let's go. Let's go one more. One, one, let's go one more time. A miracle is something that's outside the productive capacity of the natural world. The Quran is outside the productive capacity of the natural world. Therefore, the Quran. Is a miracle. Do you do you accept that? The, as I as I said, I, I'm skeptical about what is and so, what isn't a miracle. So, 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 but I know that. So wh- where's the skepticism? Pinpoint. Be specific right now, because I'm being honest with you. Right now, Shaitan is in your ears, and his job to put doubt in the hearts of a person is what his job is. So please say after me, I seek refuge. Say after me. I, I seek, seek refuge, refuge in Allah, in Allah from Satan. From Satan. But mean it, right? Now tell me, what is the doubt? Well, look, as I said, it, it's a great book, and if all these uh, grim, uh, rhetorical devices are, are in there, you know, I have to accept that from you. But that that's not proof from me. It could be the best book ever written, but one book has to be. But, uh, the but, best book. But, but if it's, a, it's we're not talking about best book, we're talking about a miracle. Forget it being from God right now. I'm mm-hmm. just asking you, do you accept the Quran as a miracle? I accept there may be expla- unexplained naturalistically. But it, you, ex- you ex- appreciate that it's, it cannot be explained naturally. Mm-hmm. That's a miracle. That's You've just dis- defined a miracle in a different way. Mm-hmm. So we're on the same. Do you accept the Quran as a miracle? By your definition, yes. But it's your definition as well. Mm-hmm. You just said that the Quran, if yes, you accept that it cannot be explained, right? Mm-hmm. That's a miracle. Sure. Right? Mm-hmm. So if you can't explain it naturalistically, that means human beings who are natural, it could not have been written from any human being. Well, I can't explain it naturalistically, but it doesn't mean that there isn't an explanation. But we just, the only explanation would be for another human being to create something like it. That's why the verse says, if you're in doubt, create something like it. So that would be the explanation. In a thousand years, maybe someone will. Okay, but you know why it can never happen? Why? See, this is the beauty of the If it did, you would. You know why it can't ever happen? Uh, No, it it can't. Anyway, because it's like, it's like saying this, right? You you don't, you don't, because if if we're, if we're going to be, you know, that respectfully absurd about it, then I can come and say silly things like I believe I'm really a rhinoceros that came from Pluto and I flew here on a milk, milk carton. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 1,430 years, people have been actively trying. I'm telling you that the blueprint is there. You have the blueprint and you have the tools that you cannot bring it together. 1,430 years ago, they couldn't. How are you going to do it today? But let me show you how it can never happen anyway, how the challenge is sealed. See, when you look at the Arabic language, the Arabic language has declined. It reached its peak 1,434 years ago. Since then, the Arabic language has become impure. It has taken from other languages and whatnot. And those who were the masters of the language, they tried it. Those who were the best. You will never have the best in classical language because they're dead now. Mm-hmm. They were the best place to challenge the Quran and they're no longer alive. We have their challenges present with us today. For example, Musayyid al-Makadab, right? Oh, elephant. Oh, elephant. What is the elephant? The point is here that no one has been able to challenge it. And because of the fact that the language has degen- it, it, it's, it's, it's become impure, they will not be able to anyway. So all that's going to happen over the next thousand years is that the language of Arabic is going to evolve and change even more. Mm. So the challenge is sealed, man. That in itself is miraculous. Come on, man. Well, it's also convenient. Well, that's Allah, isn't it? He's making it easy for you. You say it's convenient. He's giving you no room to doubt. Do this for me. Let me let me be honest with you, right? Like, honestly, forget the people listening, right? 
Am I allowed to do that? Okay, good, 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 good. Like, on a man-to-man level, do you really want to know the truth? Are you sure? I'd love to know. But if it hits you in your face, Mm -hmm. are you willing to accept it? If, yeah, if if I... Right? So it's not just like... it's proven to me. Okay, so it's not like it's just an academic game or something like that. You you genuinely want to know. You seem like a genuine guy. Do you genuinely want to know? Oh, alhamdulillah, no. Now, I want to try something with you. Is that an English copy of the Quran? Could you bring it to me, please? You sure you, you're not a master of the Arabic language or something like that? No, no, this guy's for the tricks. MashaAllah. <laughs> this is not the Quran. This is what a man thinks about what the Quran means. Mm-hmm. Right? Nonetheless, it's the best that we can make do with. You have to be sincere here, Julian. And if you're not sincere, fine. Maybe, you know, I'll look like a fool. But you have to answer to God. I want you to sincerely ask the question. If this is really your book, say if you are really up there, well we already established that there has to be a divine creator, but if this is really your message, the one who created me, if this is really your speech, give me a sign from here. Ask the question now. Then, or ask whatever question that you want right now. But mean it. And open this up to any page. Any page. And read out loud. I got this from you. I, there's, there's not a magic trick, by the way. From your room, no magnets, yeah? So ask the question. But sincerely ask, if you, if you want to know. And then open it to any page and see what happens. Well, that, what, you, want, you want to go through this li- life yeah, as such? I mean, I, I would, it's very hard to be genuine at, at such a time. But for, a, for example, a, what, a, ran, a random question? Or what, well, what, a, 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 what, you say you doubt this. Mm-hmm. So ask for a sign. Ask, and and by the way, remember the signs of God are subtle. You're not going to see lightning come out of the sky, right? This is God's speech or translation of His speech. If you're sincere, God, see, Allah says in the Quran that guidance is the one thing He never rejects. Mm-hmm. So I refuse to believe that you sincerely ask to be guided, and God will not guide you. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So ask to be guided. Ask whatever question you want, and open it to whatever page. Okay, um, but me. Wh- what is my purpose in life? Happy with that? Go for it. All right. So why have you created? Me? Why? Okay, yeah. Why have you created me? And we happen to be in Al Furqan. Allahu Akbar. Um, Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? You open it to what chapter? Al Furqan. Do you know this chapter? No. Gonna read? Would you like to read? You, read? you you go for it. No, please. You read. Read. Okay, right. Well, any number? Um, okay, we'll go from forty-six. Then we hold it in hand for a brief grasp, and it is He who has made the night for you as clothing, and asleep means for rest, and has made the day a resurrection, and it is He who sends the winds as good tidings before His mercy. And we send down from the sky pure water. Keep reading, man. Okay. That we may bring to life thereby a dead land and give it as drink to those we created of numerous livestock and men. And we have certainly distributed it among them that they might be reminded. But most of the people refuse except disbelief. And if we had willed, we could have sent into every city a warner. So do not obey the disbelievers and strive against them with it. A great striving. And it is he who has released simultaneously the two seas, bodies of water, one fresh and sweet and one salty bitter. And he placed between them a barrier and prohibiting partition. Well, I've forgotten what the question was. And look at this this right here. And we have certainly 
distributed it among them that they might be reminded. So God's talking about a specific sign here, but this could be any reminder, any sign that God's given you, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. For example, the sign that God has given you through me. Mm-hmm. But most of the people refuse accept disbelief. And if we had willed, we could have sent into every city of Warner. So do not obey the disbelievers and strive against them with it, i.e. the Qur'an, a great striving. Mm -hmm. And you know what's interesting? Is that he's been messaging me, writing words on paper, use other miracles, talk to him, and Mm -hmm. I refused to. I Mm -hmm. ignored it. And I carried on using the Qur'an's linguistic miracle. Mm -hmm. I was striving with you, trying to explain it to you with this. Mm -hmm. So God's telling me to carry on Julian like this this passage is talking to you now before you just brush it away internalize this God is speaking to you This is the word of God. Do you accept? Look, yeah. I've thought about it for a long time and I'm sure I will continue thinking about it. Don't, this has not been a waste of your time and this has not been just oh, the, the, the usual routine. I, I appreciate your sentiment and you've given me food for thought and I will take it away with me and I believe you're a sincere man which is why I feel comfortable stopping there thank you and I sincerely ask God thank to you. guide you because on the day of judgment I do not want to be a witness against you I want to be a witness for you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you very much Sorry. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah brothers and sisters How are you guys doing? I just wanted to quickly take this opportunity To invite each and every single one of you To our first ever live event The Gathering A Night With The Da'wah Men It's going to be next week Wednesday 3rd of September 7 to 10 p.m. at the Water Lily in East London This is going to be an epic night We're going to be going through our journey In hopes that you'll be able to become inspired Just like we once were To start your own superhero da'wah journey We'll see each and every single one of you there Please make sure you sign up at the link below before spaces run out because they're running out. We want to make sure that we see all of you there. Peace. This was a quite interesting video and the good part is I guess the person is willing to listen to what other people have to say. They don't judge. They just will come whatever um, comes from other people and they respect other people's opinion and other people respect him as well. So if there's something like this that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.